All right, I wanted to give a quick demo of uh, what I've been trying to work on here for the last couple of days is uh, update this old project I did about four years ago when I was first learning Unreal Engine. Uh, I just want to give a couple shout outs here. So I used um, this amazing uh, tutorial site, World of Level Design, and he's updated everything for UE5, but I did a really great uh, tutorial on UE4 to get this to work. Um, and then also I'm using Jonathan uh, Barwell's uh, Adding Smooth Locomotion to Unreal Engine. So uh, trying to simulate uh, Half-Life Alex style navigation. So I'll link these both in the description, but I want to show the progress and what this is looking like in VR. So let me go ahead and pop this on. And let me stand up here and hopefully it won't be too jittery. There we go. All right, so uh, the cool thing about this is I've got uh, custom input actions set up through Jonathan's tutorial and they're working pretty well. The only thing I can't figure out is for some reason the teleportation is not working and it was working in 5.3.2 um, on a test VR template. This project here I have um, migrated from 4.2.7 into 5.4.2 and it's been working great except for some reason when I recreated uh, the controllers um, I don't know why but the teleport's not working but everything else is working like we have jump and we have fast uh, fast moving uh, sprint so when I made this uh, scene, um, it was just the bottom level. This was a tutorial I just covered making the, the very basic uh, level here. And then I added all my own custom graphics and started importing my own static meshes. And then I built out this, this upper level here. And it really was exciting to see this now in VR. And the, the goal is to get this over to Quest 3. Uh, I need to package it. And then I want to see if I can get it running untethered uh, on the headset. I might have to do some further optimizations. And then the end goal really is to get this over to Apple Vision Pro and fully immersive mode. That's the that's the big goal. Uh, right now, Unreal is still not quite ready for prime time with Apple Vision Pro. I would love it to get there, so hopefully soon. But um, yeah, I mean, I can I can make these great scenes now, and I just want to be able to get these over to headset. And I'll work on some animation down the road with these guys. I like to have the characters moving around, but for now, I'm really impressed. Like I love these. Uh, Dust particles came out really well too. Uh, one thing I'm I'm curious about is if you I don't know if you can tell in this video, but if you look at the characters, you can see there's like a a, a little bit of a, a, lot, a straight line coming down from the edges, of, especially you said the magenta character and the orange character. I don't know if there's some some VR setting that I don't have set properly when this project was originally made. It was just a default template, it had nothing to do with VR, and then I migrated over to a VR template. So. I don't know if there's some uh, some settings somewhere that I need to go in, uh, some like hidden minutia settings uh, for VR optimization, but I'm getting a weird little drop down. I've been noticing that, so I'm sure that's something I gotta kind of got got fix. Um, stereo instancing is on, which is which is uh, how it works on the VR uh, template default. I'm also seeing a little bit of tearing. I don't think it's being sh uh, shown on the recording but I can see it in headset a little bit of tear when I do this uh, snap turn um, but I really dig in this so God, it's almost there I can almost start getting stuff over to headset and trying to trying to make something I could I could release so it's a start you know if you have any uh, ideas and how to maybe just opt further optimize this I, I'm all ears all right thanks Thank you. 